Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode from my Battle Report series. Um, this is the Battle of Lockdale again, and this is my turn 5 mission for Lance A of the Hell's Spawn. And this is a battle, three and a half skull battle on a lunar environment, and it's the heavy lure mission. So there should be a heavy mech or something down here or up here. Um, they wanted me to spawn way, way back here somewhere, but I decided to take the hill instead. This is as far as I could go on the hill. Um, so I'm assuming that there's enemies up here somewhere, and this is the lure here. So we're going to take these guys on. Now, I haven't played these guys before, so you guys haven't seen these guys. Um, I managed to pick up this mauler um, early when I was getting prepping this lance. It was a... Uh, I think it was a two and a half skull or a three skull defend base mission. We're just going to move our way down this way, I think. Um, and it ended up being the base Roger. was being attacked by a couple of assault mechs. And there was, uh, I think, was it a battle axe? It was so long ago. Battle axe or something along that, that line and this mauler that dropped down. And... The weird Roger thing that. was is that we were fighting, um, it was a polar environment, and we were fighting on one side of the base, which is where the enemies had come from at the very, very beginning. And um, I took a shot with a, uh, at the time we had a tag barrage. I don't think it's actually in this What's lance up, anymore. Bob? It might be in my other lance, or what I might not you, have Commander? it right now. What can I do for you? Yeah, there's the tag barrage there. We took a shot with a tag barrage. And it landed in the middle of nowhere. And then the dropship, like, literally dropped right where the barrage was. So the the um, the mauler dropped right when the barrage, like, dropped um, that turn. And then the barrage came in at the end of that turn. And it took a lot of damage, took some heat damage. And then one of the uh, turrets at the base was one of those um, uh, Thunderbolt turrets with... Um, let's go this way... Thunderbolt turrets. It had TPM 5s, I think it was. I can't remember. We're going to... This guy's like a nice long-range firepower mech. So we're going to put him up here, I think. Hopefully we can survey the battlefield from there. But yeah, he just kind of sat up. Um, sorry, the, uh, the the turrets with the um, the TBMs hit him with thermal bolts, which jacked his heat up even more. I hit him with everything I possibly could. And our allied turrets hit him with everything they could. We the next turn when he moved, he barely had he fired his AC twos. That was all, he had four ultra twos. That's all he could do. And then we hit him with all of our infernos. We shut him down, knocked him down, and then he, the pilot just bailed out. So I was able to get all three pieces like 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 super early in the uh, in the um, playthrough, the start of the playthrough. That's an urban mech. What's this guy? A rifleman. Eh. Well, it's only three and a half skull. What did I expect? Waiting for orders. Anyways, yeah, that's how I got the mauler. But it's worked out really, really well. This land, this actual group that you've got, that I've got down here, is actually, for some reason, the game rates these guys as one and a half skulls. With the with the mauler, the thunderbolt, which is which is the old thunderbolt, um, the primitive one. The, uh, cent a centurion, a bushwhacker, and a, a hetzer with stealth, and it rates us as one and a half skulls. I have no idea why. All right, we're gonna move up uh, to here, I think. Let's see if we can get a shot urban off mech. at that uh, urban mech. I think this guy hasn't moved though, so I mean that's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're taking this guy then. Take a shot at him. Go with the ultra fives. So this is the uh, the bushwhacker loadout. We've got acid. Um, standard and Inferno ammo on this uh, on the SRMs. Um, ER large Ultra Five. Ultra Five's got a tendency to jam on this thing because the pilot doesn't really have uh, the ability to stop it from jamming a lot, but it's fine. I'll dial it back to one. Uh, oftentimes to avoid that. A pair of peeps. What do we got going up here? Keep shooting that. You're going to be in trouble. Ooh, Marauder. Okay, cool. Commander. So this is my this is my massive brawler, the Thunderbolt. This thing is brutal. Um, it just rips mech, mechs apart at close range. Understood. Moving. It's fast. got an LBX-10, and then it's got the shotgun. 
The combat shotgun is basically another LBX-10 with 10 rounds. It's a bolt-on. It's like 6 tons or something. Um, but it's basically a second LBX-10, and then a pair of medium pulses, ER mediums, and then the SRMs here with Inferno. So it's like it's brutal short-range brawler. Now the combat shotgun doesn't quite have the range the same as the LBX does, but still, it's uh, pretty good. I'm going to keep with the 87. We'll go with the slug, fire the ERs. And it runs really, really cool, too. Nice, that's a leg hit. Penetrated the torso. Yeah, it runs really cool, so I can fire like all the weapons most of the time and not worry about overheating. And then we've got the Centurion, the Bushwhacker, and I'll show you the uh, loadout for the uh, Mauler, Mauler here in a second. Well, thanks for showing up, buddy. So this is my Heavy Lance, my assault, uh, Heavy Slash Assault Lance. Uh, you're in a good position over there, good dude. Nice and well hid. Uh, let's go here and go after this Urban Mac. We're going to push it forward real fast. Turbo. So this Hetzer doesn't get targeted. Much like most like my Hetzers have in the past. This guy's got like... Oh, is this the wedding? This is, you know, for the for the Urban Mech, whatever it is, Urban Knight 9000. Supposed to be super rare. It shows up an awful lot in all my battles. No sweat. You see two landed. Yeah, well, whatever. Ooh, light carrier Mark II. If it's not shooting, I wonder what. Oh, I wonder if it's an SRM carrier. Skipper. Let's get you. Now I normally keep the Hetzer back because I use it as a close-range defense for my um, my Mauler if I'm into heavy fighting. The pilot actually hits fairly frequently with the AC-20, a lot more than I've had uh, success with in the past. So that's like an AC-2 carrier. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Ultra-2 carrier. Ooh, nice. We can pick up some Ultra-2s. Um, I don't even think we need to move. Yeah, so we've got precision ammo with the AC-2s. We've also got incendiary as well. Um, you can use this guy as an overheater. Uh, we got regular Ultra 2s. I do have extra Ultra 2s, but I decided to just put these in because I like the precision and the uh, incendiary ammo. It's nice having that extra chance to hit at long range. ER large laser, a pair of ER mediums, and some uh, LRM 10s here. Let's switch. We're, we are out of range completely. I've had a lot of success with the follow the leader missiles on this as well. So, yeah, we're, you know, we're going to move in a bit. So that's the laser carrier. So it's all probably medium lasers. Let's get right to here. We'll probably be pulling into range here with most of the other stuff. Yeah, the alarms are in range. It's fine. Chance to hit drop because we were sprinting, but we're going to go out to the laser carrier, I think. I wasn't really uh, sure if I, if I would like the idea of having the uh, Mauler with um, Autocan 2s on it, but it's working out well because this Mauler is so slow that, um, and I like playing a fast game. So my other vehicles in mechs here are actually pretty quick. So he's able to still contribute a fair bit to the battle even though he can't get up close to do, uh, to do damage, which is kind of nice. Um, can get wow man this guy is like so ECM'd hmm can't get that rifleman huh tell you what let's move here Sprinting. and then we'll take a shot at this guy see if we can off this guy early uh, we'll keep the Ultron it's probably jammed Sure, blow all your cover up. Good thinking. <laughs> oh man, what a week. So I've been rec I'm recording this on Friday night. Oh, that guy's done now. Ooh, good damage though. Loving my Centurion. He's decided okay, to come into Ultra Auto Cannon 20 bad. range. That's his call. Good to go. But the Ultra Auto Cannon is not gonna, gonna get a chance to shoot. So. Got it. I uh, probably will. We'll see how badly he takes the damage from this thing. 
Yeah, he's in trouble. Yeah, we've only got Inferno, so that's fine. Here it comes. Yeah, thanks for helping out, Irby. <laughs> you really I'm saved your buddy there. So we're only taking one salvage on this, one piece of salvage. And we're going to go after this guy again. Um, so I'm, I'm not worried about murdering people here. We're just going to murder them with uh, extreme prejudice. Yeah, I'm really liking the ult the the auto cannon twos on this long range uh, platform because he just he doesn't need to move. You just the enemy really can't shoot back at him. Of course, now that I say that this guy shoots back, but the armor on this thing is so heavy that it's like really ir irrelevant, right? Good it's just go. a damage sponge. You can just absorb so much. Uh, we're gonna pull into here. Stay with that marauder. Got it. I think. Can we get it? We can get a shot at this guy. I think I've only got precision on this, yeah. Um, I don't have a lot of targeting computers on my guys and stuff. I still haven't got a lot of things that I needed. I need. But it's I mean they're not bad so far. Um I wanna, I wanna wait for the Irby to close a bit. We're gonna shoot this guy. Got it. Nice. Confirmed. Well, you were gonna go after the uh Riflemen. Now you don't have much of a purpose. Actually, you do. Let's get to here. Hmm. 7%, huh? Yeah, the only thing about this vehicle, I mean, it, it does fairly well having the stealth. Um, but it can't, like, the chances to hit are really bad. Even though I, I got a good pilot in here, too. That's the thing. You know what? We don't need to move. All right. But, but the bonus is the enemies don't ch tend to shoot at it a whole heck of a lot because it is pretty stealthy. Yeah, damn it. Yikes! That hit hard. It did. These guys are pretty accurate. All right, wedding balls going first, or sorry, urban knights going first. Let's see what he does here. I want to feed him to the Thunderbolt, but we'll see what happens. It's technically a melee mech, but I've yet to see it actually melee anybody. Yeah, not bad. Probably gonna have to pull the Centurion back. I don't want them to pen. I hear ya. Don't want them to pen. Let's do this. Hmm. Get into here. We're gonna go after the wedding ball, I think, this turn. Or sorry, the urban knight. I don't like the fact that he's trying to flank me here. Uh, let's go with some acid and hope we hit. We'll leave this off. Uh, we'll fire the ultra. We'll fire them both. See what happens. Yeah, I got them all. Did you? Hey, stay in the crosshair. Fair enough. All right, these guys are a bit tougher than I Standing by. was really expecting, but that's fine. Thunderbolt's it's still got a crap ton of armor. We'll move it up. We have to turn some of the lasers off for this shot, though. Um, X pulse. Well, X pulse do more damage. We can turn these guys off. I might as well turn these off because he's just going to shoot them down anyway, probably. So, take a few shots at this guy. There we go. Yeah, the the. Um, the uh, LBXs with the um, X pulses following up. What are your orders? It's kind of it's it's a really nice kind of um, combo. All right. Let's get as much armor facing the enemy as possible. Capitalize on this guy being down. Forty-seven percent chance. We're going to go for the CT hit here. Double shot. Not going to punch out, huh? At least we landed one. It was a CT hit too, so we should be able to finish him up next turn. Ooh, that's a lot of hits. I'm catching some serious shit here, Commander. Yeah, no kidding. Waiting for orders. 
I wonder if he's got precision ammo. Would not be surprised. Uh, I'm going to back up with this guy. Right, Commander. And we'll take a shot at that uh, urban mech, see if we can remove him from the map board here. Um, yep. And then I think... We'll go this... Ah, man. Let's get... The, let's try and get the kill. That figures. See ya. Gotcha. Two down, three to go. This is the next guy. Shit. Got a shot off, but he's kind of at long range right now. Is minor, Commander. Yeah, we'll get you, we're gonna get you out of there, don't worry. It's kind of at long range right now, so. Now these ultra these ultra twos do jam. Not a fair bit, but enough. Uh, let's go this way. Reduce some recoil. Let's just kill this guy if we can. There we go. Plenty of damage. We're going to switch to the Marauder now, I think. With the Mauler. What can I do for you? Alright. Mm, I think we want the AC2 carrier. Or do we? It's oh, he's he's got what five ultra twos. That's two hundred and fifty damage right there. So let's go after this guy. Get the rockets up. Fire it all here. Okay, well we didn't get the ultra on him, but at least the laser hit. All out of short range missiles. Commander. Doesn't have a lot of armor. Can we get? We can. So let's. I gotta think about this. We want to get our right side more facing that way. Affirmative. And then we'll dump all this stuff, including the barrage. We might get a, we might get lucky with it. We don't know. Yeah, AC2 hit. I gotta say, I'm really liking the AC2s. I, I know I mentioned it before with the mall with the uh, Mar Mauler. The damage per tonnage is is not that great because there are six tons. But the bonus of them is the range, right? And the fact that you can use precision ammo is just like a huge difference. Uh, let's just finish this guy off. How are we doing for heat? We're perfectly fine. Like we're, like even in the lunar environment, I'm firing almost everything and I'm almost completely like heat neutral here. That should do it. Yep. I might grab one of those Ultra 2s for our... Uh, Salvage, but we'll see what's there. I want to get sea bills more than anything. Aye, aye. All right, let's go after this guy. So once again, uh, if you haven't, if you don't know anything about the battle report series that we've been running, uh, head over to the Discord. I'll probably drop it in the link below. I'm gonna try and do it and do an invite for everybody uh, with every episode that I, or every video that I post. You can kind of go check it out. I'm not gonna do a full series on this, on that, just because of the amount of time that it takes. I would rather invest my time. Um, um, actually running the campaign with the players that are there so because they're investing their time I, I, I'd rather invest my time into them than to uh, invest it into doing a series but I am going to be doing another series um, so it's not such a big deal I'm on him. nice we landed one so we've landed out of four shots we've landed half of them that's a CT hit beautiful Waiting for orders. let's capitalize on that CT hit And we've got our acid ammo. So I re should really have these at the top. So it splashes first. And I have tested this, so the acid will hit. And then these weapons will do more damage based on the acid that hits. So I know that works. Um, I'm not convinced that with, with a tag that it works if you fire the tag, if it affects the weapons that fire afterwards. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, so the laser did 52 rather than 50. Ready for orders. Just gonna walk Moving it up. Out. We're not gonna fire everything, but yeah, we'll go with all this though. Let's give it to him. Got the knockdown. Left leg gone. We're gonna focus on the right leg with the Mauler. Drop some follow the leader in there. We should be able to pull it right off. All right. Orders. Uh, you reserve. 
The thing okay. I don't like about the Mauler is how far back along in the uh, order of combat he goes. Yeah, so I mean, look at this. Drop it there. This is going to go to follow the leader. I think that's probably... Wait, how much has he got on here? Mm, close to 200. Well, no, but one, 160 or so. And this is what... Uh, should we leave the large off? Yeah, see, our damage has gone up a bit because of the uh, acid. We're going to leave these off. These are a little bit more precise. And should I go... Wait, this is 50, 100, 150, 200. If we have to hit with everything, then. So let's put these back on. I don't think we'll hit with everything, but... On the leg, that is. Come on, get the leg. Ah, we got the mech. Oh well, that's fine. Torso them. Uh, could have been a hull breach, though. Looked like it might have been a hull breach. Alright, we made some money. Nice. Gotta get our financial report and add a bit of that uh, salvage into our uh, resource pool for the company. Alright, we did pretty well. I don't think we lost anything on the Centurion. We came pretty close to, to uh, having the armor strip, though, on that torso there. Down to 15. Okay, so like lots of rifleman parts, but that's not what I'm really concerned about. I don't look, actually, that carrier piece looks kind of nice too. What is this? This is the medium pulse laser. Yeah, see, that thing was almost completely useless. It's the range AMS Mark II. I got one. Okay, so I don't need it. That would be nice though. Medium pulses, Ultra twos. I think I got one because when I when I got the Mauler, a lot of the things were intact, including three of the Ultra twos. Um. Oh, there's an Ultra 5 down here as well. I guess that was on the Marauder. We've got one of these. We've got one of these. I mean, I guess it could... It increases the tonnage too, though. And I can't use precision ammo. But it does increase the overall damage output. Ooh, ballistic range. Yeah, no, I would rather go with the Predator. Oh, there's a Predator down here too. Don't have any. I think I might grab that instead. I don't think there's really a lot of stuff. Although the range finder is not bad for closer range mechs and stuff. I can't I can't put any of this on my mechs now anyway. I gotta wait till this, this scenario is over. Because we're in constant combat. I can't actually add anything to the mechs. Although tracker sensors might well it's minus two at short range. Might be a little better. I have more targeting computers than I do these guys. I'm going to try my old trick. I'm going to do this. Actually, no, I want the Predator. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do... I'm going to do... Where are you here? The trackers. I'm going to take the tracker out. I'm going to put the Predator back in. And see if we actually get it. Because I've had... I don't know. More, I, I would say at least half of the time that I take something out, it actually appears back in here when I, when I do the roll. So we'll see what happens. There's Ultra 2 ammo down here, too. Like, that's the other thing, too. I think I'm low on Ultra 2. So even if I did add two more in, I, I mean, I'm only, I've only got a certain amount of rounds, right? So, all right, let's confirm that. Now nah, we didn't get it. No big deal. All that gets sold for money, though. We'll just, we'll keep this in the storage for later. All right. Well, 78,000. It's, yeah, most of it's going to the Centurion, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more Battle Lockdale. The Hellspawn B Lance will be taking on their mission next. It's um, If you go to the mech bay real quick, I'll just show you here. It's a pair of enforcers, um, an Enfield, and a trebuchet. So they're all 50 tonners. Um, well, plus, we've got two vehicles for that Lance. We've got, oops, not store. I, I always do that when I go for vehicle. I always hit storage. Um, we've got, oh, sorry, that shouldn't be there. That's up there. So we've got the Corbin and the Carrier for the next uh, one as, as vehicles too. This thing's actually pretty good. I'm a, I was actually shocked and when I got this because I'd never heard of this before. Good armor, five five machine guns, which have done actually fairly good work at close range because this thing's got armor and speed. The large laser and LRM-10 are good for range, but once you get close, um, this thing has so much evasion with the pilot in it that um, you know it works out really, really well. So I've been using this a fair bit getting some good effectiveness with it. And we got an LRM carrier here with uh, nine Thunderbolt 5s. So this will be a nice one too for the next next battle. Plus it's got Actis and armor on it. Like normally these carriers have like uh, six of the armor on all sides, but that 130 and 105 allows this thing to stay in battle a little longer. But that's going to be for the next battle. 
uh, I'm going to end this one here. Stay tuned. Well, at least look on the channel for the Hellspawn Lance B battle um, for turn five. That'll be there at some point. All right. So I'm going to leave, leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below and come visit us over on the Discord uh, for the uh, battle report series. And then, uh, yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.